Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. We got last adjustment, a last adjustment here. So, okay, and before I get going on this, um, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Orange Pineapple flavor. So, get ready for some pops. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my mouse real quick, just closer to the keyboard, so I don't have to reach back on the couch in order to use it. Okay, and uh, and the music. This was a uh, this is dungeon synth music. It's a uh, for those that don't know, this is a uh, it's a brand new genre that I had never even heard of before. I had just discovered it maybe roughly a month ago. So, I've been listening to this stuff a lot more. Again, I've never heard of this genre before. It's totally new to me, so... And... And for the most part, I like it. Um, I don't know where it would rank on my genre top five. I... It, 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 it's, it's got... It's got... If, it, if not in my top five, it's gotta be close. I guess, um... Probably the one thing that... If there's... If there is something that keeps this genre from being in my top five is the fact that it's very repetitious. Yeah, six and a half minutes here. Got a feeling this is going to be... Okay, hold on. One moment. One moment. <sighs> oh, excuse me. All right. But but anyway, um, this is a... This is a demo from 2019. And, um... This, but uh, this actually just came out sometime today or yesterday, so. Yeah, not a fan of this uh, intro animation. I'm kind of sound testing it at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to turn it up from my end. <laughs> Look at some of the names, Morn Balls. Tombs, Watmers, whatever the hell that is. Okay, but um, but otherwise, um, I didn't really do a whole lot last night. Um, I did a, I made a, man. yeah, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. But like yesterday, I went ahead and tried to make another uh, one hour video, or a one hour pinball video. But uh, I actually ended up going over long on it and it basically became a, uh, became a 90 minute video, but what I did this time, though, is um, I separated it into two different videos. One from uh, Pinball FX3 and then one from Pinball Arcade. This way, so if, uh, if some part of my video gets muted, I won't be forced to delete the entire thing. Um, but I don't, I don't want to explain the whole, the whole copyrighted music thing. But just... Uh, just if, if you... If you have, if you guys can access my um, my my YouTube videos or my YouTube channel, uh, it's gonna be on yesterday's cast. I kind of go into more detail as to why I delete videos or as to why I delete copyrighted videos. Okay, um, one more thing I gotta do. Hold on. Oh. 
Okay, sorry about that. But it, but anyway, um, but luckily, I got a, but none of the, none of the videos, none of the videos were, mu were muted. Um, I didn't, I didn't upload the, the FX3 one to YouTube, because it, because it most certainly would have, uh, would have flagged my video, because, uh, there was, uh, Star Wars music on it. Uh, one of my, one of the tables was, like, Star Wars, Darth Vader. It had that da 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 You know, it, it had that in there. You know, now that I think about it, I think me, uh, I think me making that melody might actually get, might actually get flagged by YouTube. It, it, if it does, then oh my god, how fucking lame. So, but anyway, anyway, I'm moving right along. But I actually did pretty good this time around. Um, I wasn't, I mean, I definitely wasn't breaking any records or any high scores or anything. But then again, I didn't, I didn't totally and completely suck either. So, so pretty solid performance. And then, um. Oh, and then uh, I watched a, I watched a video. Uh, this is another YouTube channel I often go on. Um, called the Score Esports. It's an, it's an esports channel. Um, but yeah, they had a, I guess a couple years ago they came out with a with a video on the history of Twitch. It's the, the web, you know, it's the platform I stream on, like the whole history and everything. Like, oh damn, this is pretty cool. So yeah, I watched most of that. Um, and and yeah, I am and definitely nowhere near caliber as a lot of the streamers that they were uh, promoting on there. But I think um, they said the same thing that I kind of agreed with too. I think um, Twitch just got too popular. So now you got people like you got. You got people like Ninja and Shroud. They're like, they're super popular and they're selling out. They're making mega bucks and all that, which definitely wasn't a wasn't a part of Twitch's original design. In fact, now that I think about it, um, another another favorite YouTuber of mine, and uh, you'll often you'll often hear me mention his name on all my other cast videos too. Emperor Lemon. He was kind of saying the same thing too. YouTube basically got popular was basically uh YouTube was basically destroyed by its own success you know because back in the day when YouTube first came out it was just all about in you know in you know informal webcams informal video making you know you're just posting videos up just for the fun of it just for the hell of it you know but now these days a lot of people run their channels like a damn business and Emperor Lemon said the same thing that I did too we have this very strong aversion towards uh, people that often say, don't forget to like and subscribe on their videos. It, ba you know, basically, you know, if I like you enough, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the subscribe button, whether or not you told me to do this. So, and I noticed some of the, now that, now that I also think about it, some of the YouTubers that I've seen these days, they're getting a little more sneaky about it. They're not telling you to subscribe. They're showing you, like, they'll start, Hi, how's it going? My name is Billy Bob Jones, and today's video, we're gonna blah, 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 blah. And during the whole time he's speaking, you'll see, like, a little a little pop-up window up here that's, that says, subscribe. And it shows, like, a little, a little mouse pointer. You know, clicking the subscribe button. Like, no, they won't tell you now, but they'll, they'll show you a little tiny pop-up that tells you to, so... They're getting sneaky. But yeah, like I said, this is a this is a great history lesson for me. And Okay, I'm, there's a there's a bug on my wall right now. I'm kind of looking at it. Okay, so it's um it's just something with green wings. Just a little tiny thing, so it doesn't look very threatening. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm entophobic. I've got a phobia of bugs, especially uh, big bugs like uh, big bugs and or flying bugs like June bugs. I get scared shitless around those. And strangely, and strangely, I'm not a, I'm not arachnophobic. So I'm, I'm one of those, I'm one of those rare ones. Like, but, uh, you know, if they're like little spiders or something, they don't scare me that much. Or they don't scare me much. But, you know, the big brown reckless ones, the big huge tarantula looking ones, yeah, I'm gonna be a little, little standoffish around them, but, but yeah, I've seen, uh, but yeah, over the years, I've seen co-workers, I've seen, uh, other people I've known in my life that are arachnophobic. Like, even if it's a small spider crawling up a wall. Can you kill that spider for me? I'm arachnophobic. Okay, um, yeah, sure, man, no problem. You know. There you go. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Oh, appreciate it. Oh, oh. But, yeah, I've, I've known people like that throughout my life. But then it, but... When it comes to my little bug phobia, you know, I see a June bug flying around. Oh God! Ah, 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 June bug! Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha! June bug! Ha ah, ah. ha! Where's that, Joe? Ah, 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 over there! Over there! Oh, that thing! Yeah, they just they'll reach over and just grab that June bug with one hand, and you can like feel it buzzing inside. You'll you'll, you'll hear it buzzing inside their fist. <laughs> You know, they'll open the window and then throw it out, throw it out the door, and then shut and then close the door. So yeah, so kind of a symbiotic relationship there. Okay, but anyway, um, getting back on topic, um, but yeah, this this is a great history lesson for me because uh, I didn't start streaming on Twitch till probably uh, I want to say. 2000, 2018, I think, 2018 or late late 2017. But basically, I've been streaming for about four years, so I wasn't around ever since Twitch first came out, which was like the late two like late 2000s. So I was very late to the party on this. So, but uh, I have. My opinion still stands today. Um, I think streaming these days is oversaturated. Way too many people are doing it. So I think the the big the big hitters that you're seeing these days, like the ninjas and the shrouds and whatnot, I think they've been streaming. Excuse me, they've been streaming that far back as well. I mean they've been I mean they've been streaming a lot longer than I have. I know. Uh, Oh, what did it say? I think Ninja blew up. I mean, he was already pretty popular, but I think he really blew up right around the time Fortnite came out. In fact, in fact, let me um, let me take a look at that. Here, let me let me fire up Wikipedia here. Yeah, 2017. So. So yeah, it came out in uh, mid-2017, but again, uh, I think Ninja and Shroud and all of them, they were already pretty popular before Fortnite came out, but once Fortnite did come out, then they really blew up. So, but again, I didn't start... Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and pull up my uh, YouTube channel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go, I'm gonna try to go to the time when I uploaded my very, very first stream vid. Or here, let me do this. Oh damn, I go way far back. Yeah, damn. I've been uploading stuff since 2015. 
and it was a Diablo 3 video. I thought it was a Diablo 2 video. Holy shit. Oh, huh. no, I'm taking a trip down memory lane. Huh? But yeah, my um my first ever my first ever video was uploaded on uh, November 6, 2015. I didn't start streaming back then though, but that's let me keep going. That's what I'm really looking for. Still scrolling. Okay. No, I guess I started playing Diablo 3 on my PS4. So... Okay, I'm still looking. I think this is right around the time I started streaming. Uh, let me... Okay, um... You know, I would have thought that I would have typed, I would have typed on on my, uh, on my header, first ever stream, but apparently not. Well, let me, uh, let me head back, let me head back a page. But I know my, uh, my first ever stream was Diablo 3. Okay, apparently not. Here, let me um, let me click this. Yeah, yeah, sorry about this, but, uh... Alright, let me click this in. Um, the only other thing I could think of, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it here, because I don't want to have to dig through Twitch for, uh, looking for all my videos on there, but... Basically, yeah, it, it says here I've been uh, my my first stream, at least on YouTube, was uh, January nineteenth, two thousand seventeen. So based on this, yeah, I've been streaming for uh, four and a half years now. So it might also have been five years, but again, I don't want to dig through all my videos on Twitch. Now, I, so 2017. So basically, I started basically I started streaming shortly before Fortnite came out. So so yeah. So right around this. So basically, like I said, like I said some odd minutes ago, I'm very late to the party stream wise. So, I mean, I've been, I started streaming when everybody else's popularity was really blowing up, again, due to Fortnite. But, um, to kind of reiterate here, too, plus, uh, I'm, I kind of, I kind of got distracted trying to find out when I, when I first started streaming, but anyway. But, me, me, like, um, uh, same thing that Emperor Lemon said about YouTube, 
Twitch has pretty much become, has pretty much became, Twitch has become what it most despised, or it's become the uh, opposite of its intention. You know, again, now Twitch um, is basically a business now. Every, you know, especially, especially the high tier people, they're running their streams like businesses now. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're eking out a living doing so. Emperor Lemon said the same thing about YouTube. It used to be, you know, it used to be you're just making videos for fun. Now you're making them for profit. It just, it just, I want to say, for lack of a better word, corporatized. You know, YouTube and Twitch have pretty much gotten corporatized over the years. Um, in my mind, on one hand, this is kind of, it's kind of inevitable. It's pretty much what happens when it, something gets popular. I'm looking at something else here right now. But yeah, like I was saying, um, but like I said, I started streaming. I started streaming right around the time Fortnite got popular. Therein, all these other streamers got super popular as well. Generally speaking, if you didn't, if you weren't streaming Fortnite, no one's going to give two shits about you. Um, and I think these days, I think these days, one of the reasons why, uh, my own, um, uh, or I, I, I gotta, I gotta phrase this a certain way, but I kinda, I kinda know, I kinda notice this, I kinda notice this as well when, uh, when I look at, uh, when I check out how many people checked out my channel, it's been, uh, it's been coming and going in spurts. Like, um, like, I'll see a lot, I'll see, like, a. will see, like, I mean, back in, the, back in the day, if a bunch of people came on my channel, they usually stayed on my channel. But, these days, I think, again, one, could be due to saturation, because I'm not doing anything that you probably couldn't see from some other streamer, so there's that. But I think there's also the fact, uh, due to the way Twitch does ads now. You basically you can't block them anymore because uh, they insert these ads in real time now. They're not preset, so that be, again that means uh, ad blockers don't really don't really work against them because again they're not the ads aren't being preset. They're not being preset, so they're being inserted just just like that, like at fairly random moments. The most you could do is uh, do what I do, use an alternate Twitch player. But uh, even then, all it'll do is just, it simply hides the ads. It doesn't it doesn't shut them down, it doesn't cut them out. But I think uh, that's also one of the reasons why, why my uh, viewership is so spurty. It's, I bet it's because of that, because even, I've even had a, I've even had one of my regulars complain about the, complaining about the ads too. He's got to sit there through like a 30 second ad just to get on my channel and I've had to go through it too. It's it's a big time deterrence now unless I know you personally and if you're streaming then yeah, I'll wait for you. But if it's just uh if it's just, you know, some some random old streamer I just feel like checking out if um if there's an ad on it, I don't even if I don't even bother, I just go off and do something else. So I'm not immune to this either. But in and I just now I just now freaking thought of this. Maybe I I'm I might do this. I'm leaning towards no though. I might actually do a commentary vid on this uh this uh Twitch history video I saw, but I prefer I prefer don't I prefer improvising my commentary videos. And as I've uh, as I've already seen this video once, doing a commentary vid on it just doesn't seem right. 
like, cause like I said, I prefer to improvise throughout this whole thing, kind of like a reaction vid. But it, you know, if I, you know, if I've already seen the videos, then I won't be reacting to much, cause I know what's coming. So, but yeah, it, I, so I pretty much missed the boat as far as this goes. And um, and I suppose, and as of uh. It looks like I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, but one thing I do want to do is let me, uh, I kind of want to show this. I probably should have done this when I last had it up. So let me work on it. So, where's it at? I guess for those that are interested. Wrong one. So let me go ahead and expand on it so it's easier to see. Yeah, there it is. Um, uh, my first ever video I've uploaded to YouTube. November 6, 2015. So, so I've been, I've been creating content for seven years. Over, all, oh, no, 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 no. I've been creating content for almost six years now. Probably my most watched video right here. And this one. And this one. And, um, and if you're looking here at the right, the the ratio between likes and dislikes is going to be fairly low. Uh, for these Diablo 2 videos, I used uh, what's called a hero editor. It's basically a game hack. But, um, and I actually, I think I actually posted in my descriptions, you know, I was open about it. I let everybody know that I was using one. So that's why, um, uh, that's why you don't really see any 100% likes over here. They probably saw that I was cheating and automatically I sucked. Or they probably thought I suck. Because, you know, um, because, you know, there's, I guess there's players all over the place that are, that are killing Act 5 bosses with just level 1 gear. And then I believe this is my uh this one here is my first ever stream vid that I that I streamed on YouTube gaming. I think that's what this one was. So yeah, 2017, but I'm guessing um uh, I'm guessing I was streaming I was probably uh streaming on Twitch at some point before here. Like sometime in like late 2016 or something. But like I said, I don't really want to have to dig through all my videos on Twitch. Hell, I don't think I can. I think um, all my videos only go back like a few months and then they get deleted. And boy was... Okay, you can see that. And boy was I fat. Of course, I'm at the rate I'm going now, I'm 
I'm probably gonna be this big again. So. But yeah. First official, January 19th, 2017. It's when I started streaming. Or at least here on YouTube. But again, it just... This probably goes back farther. Okay, but anyway, um, I'll go ahead and kill it there. And uh, I pretty much, so I pretty much, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. So I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um. Thanks for thanks for dropping in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And this will be my last. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be. I'll I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, and that one there will be my last cast for the week, cause that's when my work week starts. Wednesday, Wednesday night. So, so after tomorrow, you won't won't be hearing from me until probably Sunday morning. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.